Hello everyone, we are now in Unit 4. We're going to do the last thing, which is talk about reactions. And then we'll have the full set of things we can do with thermodynamics. So I'm first going to cast this as relaxing the last constraint, and then we're going to talk about reaction free energy. Okay, what do I mean talking about the last constraint? Well, to understand what I mean by the last constraint, you have to know the secret of the universe, which is something we have been talking around in thermo, but not actually explicitly using so far. So I'm going to hit you with an equation you have seen previously. Uh, there you go. Secret of the universe right there. Change in free energy is equal to change in enthalpy minus temperature times change in entropy. And you're like, how is this the secret of the universe? Well, you know that since temperature is expressed in absolute temperature, it's always a positive number, right? You also know that entropy tends to go up. The entropy, uh, certainly, of the universe always on the upswing. So this thing, this entity here, T delta S, tends to be a positive quantity, so we stuck a negative sign in front of it, so then that's always going down. And we know that uh, for us, work into the system is positive, work by the system is negative. So we have to dump a whole bunch of work or energy of some kind into a system to counteract the natural effects of temperature times the change in entropy, and that makes what we want to happen, happen. Or we just let stuff go the way it's going to go, uh, in which case um, we have delta G is negative, and that's the spontaneous direction that we'll talk about later. So this equation has been secretly kind of hanging out in the background of every single thing we've done so far. Really, it has. And what do I mean by that? Well, in units one and two, where we were focused on energy balances, entropy balances, and systems, uh, systems like cycles and uh, refrigerators and engines and so on, um, we allowed energy to move uh, towards equilibrium, right? So things uh, moving towards equilibrium, moving towards minimum minimum g, actually not minimum delta g, just minimum g, that's what's happening uh, as these systems and cycles are going. Uh, energy is moving kind of in response to uh, driving forces that it's all just trying to get to its equilibrium low state. Well, what about unit three, where we were talking about vapor-liquid equilibrium and mixtures and phase change and what happens there? Well, What's going on there is we are allowing mass to move towards equilibrium. And these are additive. Energy didn't stop moving. Energy is moving. Now mass is moving. Um, we have phase change, ETC. All right. What are, uh, what are we going to do now? So we're still trying to minimize, by the way, all these things going on here, still trying to minimize free energy. Well, what's the next and last thing we can do to minimize free energy? If energy can go any way it wants and mass can go kind of any way it wants, now we are going to let bonds, and I'm going to just generally classify it as bonds of any kind, um, and atoms to move towards equilibrium. What? Yep, get out. It is the same thing. So in all cases, we have systems that are trying to move towards their lowest free energy state. And we used to only let things kind of have the energy move around. So temperature changes the right way. And that would be what we started with. And then we let stuff move around. So is the stuff going to be a vapor? Is it going to be a liquid under these conditions? Well, uh, we've relaxed the constraint, that is, we're doing the math that shows which of those things it ought to be. And now, finally, we're not even going to make stuff be the same stuff all this time. Stuff can change to be different stuff, 
we can start with, say, uh, some sugar, and the sugar may end up as CO2 and water uh, if that is the favorable way to go under these circumstances. Um, so there you go. This puts everything in play. So in order to minimize the free energy of our system, um, we are not only going to let energy move, we're not only going to let mass move, we are going to let bonds switch around. And there you go. That's the reaction uh, part of this class.